Hello everyone, Welchie here and welcome back to Welchie's Wednesday Weekly. I'm sorry if this side of my face is quite dark. I've tried everything to get the light in a bit better and nothing's happening. So maybe I should talk like this a bit. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back to Welchie's Wednesday Weekly. This is the weekly show where I talk about the latest news in video games. Uh, what I've been up to in the last week since the last episode. I revealed a top comment of the week from you guys. And I talk about upcoming videos and games from me, etc. And I ask you guys to hopefully participate in a poll vote and introduce an upcoming YouTuber slash streamer. So, let's go straight into it with the news. After last week's news story that Sony leaked Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and the potential for Call of Duty 4 Remastered to come with it with a hefty price tag, Activision and Infinity Ward have announced that these leaks were actually true. Apart from the prices, I don't think they've been announced, but furthermore, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will feature a Zombies mode for the first time ever from an Infinity Ward uh, Call of Duty game. Additionally, PS4 owners will get access to the game's DLC map packs 30 days before they're released on competing platforms, just as they were for Black Ops 3. Um, and the release date for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is November the 4th, so nothing really ex like new there, apart from the fact that it's all been solidified, it's all true, all coming out. I'm good. You've probably all seen it by now, it's all over the world by now. Um, but yeah, Zombies is coming to an Infinity Ward game for the first ever time, and PS4 keep the exclusivity. Developer From Software, their next project will support PlayStation VR. From Software have experienced an extremely successful period with the release and the, success, uh, and the widespread attention of a Dark Souls series, but they've developed many other games beforehand. A video by Reddit user 113Mac113 shows their previous work, whilst also concluding with a slide, as you'll be looking at now, called Next Title. That is all that is on the slide, other than the supported platforms and a little extra info. In addition to PS4, Xbox One and PC, it calls out the upcoming PlayStation VR, so expect to see this game at E3 next month when they start showcasing loads of PlayStation VR stuff. All Uncharted 4 multiplayer DLC will be unlockable by playing the game. With just under a week to go before Uncharted 4 launches on the PS4, Naughty Dog revealed its approach to DLC, which is you'll be able to earn everything just by playing the game. So by playing the game, you earn in-game relics, which is their in-game currency, which can be spent on chests that have weapons, boosters and cosmetic items, similar to how Call of Duty do it. You won't get the same unique item twice, so there's no duplicates, so cosmetic items and weapons you already own won't take up valuable space in the future chests. You can purchase Uncharted points for real money if you wish, and new maps and modes will be rolled out along the way which will be available to the entire community at the same time in a big push to keep the community together and playing together. At launch there will be Team Deathmatch, Command, which is their version of Domination, Plunder, which is a one flag capital flag, and Bot Matches, with more being added throughout the year starting in the summer. In addition to two multiplayer DLC add-ons that are being sold as part of a triple pack, Naughty Dog are also planning a single player expansion, which will be the first ever single player expansion for the Uncharted series. Okay, so today, Wednesday, May the 4th be with you, is a very special day for Star Wars fans, as it is May the 4th. EA is celebrating the event with a number of Star Wars Battlefront items. Battlefront players that log in on Wednesday, or today, will receive 4,444 credits to spend on Star Cards and Blasters, with other goodies on the game as well. There are other free items throughout other Star Wars games too. For example, the Old Republic players can log in between, well, before today, so today's the last day you can log in, for a free M4 i6 droid pet. There will also be double XP and legacy XP on this game, and a few other goodies. For more info on what goodies you can get on each Star Wars game, check out EA's website, or any gaming news platform such as Game Informer. And finally, some really interesting news. California's Great America Theme Park has revealed on Twitter that the upcoming attraction, Mass Effect New Earth 4D, will open May the 18th. The previously announced theme park ride will have riders strapped into rumble chairs and wear 3D glasses, while a live performer will guide them through space in Commander Shepard's SSV Normandy ship. Riders will visit distant planets and face off against foes to help save the day. So that sounds really cool, and I wish I could go on that ride. Okay, so what have I been doing this week? Um, I have been, so recording-wise, I've recorded some Ratchet and Clank. Um, some good news on that front, after last week I said I got a copyright claim. 
I disputed the copyright claim and won the battle. So I believe I can now upload my Ratchet and Clank Let's Play as I wish without any cutscene being deleted. If I have to keep disputing the cutscene, I may decide to just let go of the Let's Play because that's just going to be an absolute pain in the ass in terms of you guys getting the videos really late. So I'll, I'll see what happens when I upload the next episode. If it's all good, all groovy, if they've just said okay to my whole channel, then cool. Then we'll be okay and I'll continue uploading it. So we'll see what happens. Um, I've also been recording Gears of War 4 beta gameplay, which is now over, which is so sad. But I've got enough gameplay for a couple of weeks for you guys. And um, I mentioned talk about that again in a minute. I've been recording a bit more of my secret Let's Play, which I cannot mention yet. Um, it will be coming soon because I've, done, I've record, almost recorded enough for me to feel I can upload it. So look forward to that. And I've recorded some Flashback Friday episodes for you guys. Streaming-wise, I've just been playing Gears of War 4 beta and a little bit of FIFA. Um, I played FIFA last night actually on my stream to celebrate Leicester City winning the Premier League. What an achievement that was. Um, I'm recording this Tuesday, by the way. So on Monday, they won the league. With Chelsea, well, Chelsea won, drew against Tottenham and won the league. So we celebrated that on my stream by playing as Leicester City on seasons. And I did really well, actually. I didn't lose a single game. They're really fun to play with. So that was fun. And other than that, behind the scenes, which I don't really play often anymore because I seem to do everything goes towards streaming or YouTube. I've been playing some Gears of War 4. Um, and obviously that isn't the case anymore. So next week, it won't be just saying Gears of War 4, Gears of War 4, Gears of War 4. There'll be new stuff next week. Um, as sad as that makes me. It does make me very sad. Okay, so it's time for comment of the week. So this is where I I decide which comment from you guys was my favourite and which made me laugh or happy or cry, you know, whatever it is, which one I thought was the best comment of the week. And as you probably know, the last couple of weeks or three or probably, I think there's only one week where he didn't win. Bashi has been winning every week. And I have to say he's won again. <laughs> he's won it again. Basically, you guys need to step your game up. Now, basically, I'm, I don't have a massive following yet, so I'm not getting many comments. But Bashi is always always there commenting. I really appreciate it. So he deserves the recognition. And um, I keep slapping my leg for some reason. So, yeah, Bashi's comment said, Beating West Ham is very unrealistic. Unre Disliked. On my video for FIFA 16, Arsenal Career Mode, Episode 2, where I beat West Ham 3-1, I believe. Um, so that was a funny comment. Um, although... It's kind of true, actually. Arsenal didn't beat them this season, so I guess that's a true comment. But that made me laugh, and that one comment of the week. Okay, so upcoming videos and games. As I mentioned, I've been recording um, Ratchet and Clank Gears 4, Secret Let's Play, Flashback Friday. What's going to be coming in this week, I would say, probably, you saw a FIFA video recently. I might have another FIFA video, but we've definitely got a Gears of War 4 beta review coming. That will definitely be coming. Hopefully I'm going to record it straight after I've done this recording, so look forward to that. I'll have a lot of opinions there, and hopefully that will be enjoyable. Um, I've got an NBA video coming. Finally got uh, two NBA videos coming. Finally got those uh, edited um, after a long break of not having them. Um, Flashback Friday, of course, will be here on Friday. Uh, Ratchet and Clank will continue, hopefully. And Uncharted 4 gameplay, that comes out next Tuesday, so you might not see it before the next episode of Woke, which is Wednesday Weekly. But there will be Uncharted 4 gameplay very soon, so look forward to that, because I am definitely looking forward to that. Okay, poll vote time. So last week I asked you, which game would you like to see remastered after the amazing success of the Ratchet and Clank reboot? And from the poll vote, I had no comments on Twitter uh, on YouTube again, but from the poll vote, I gave you three choices and then another choice. And from the three choices, there was San Andreas, Crazy Taxi, and... Um, Holy shit. What was the third game? What was the third game? I can't remember. <laughs> um, they didn't win anyway. The winner was GTA San Andreas with two votes. And Bashi also voted for Other and chose Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity, which is a great choice. Um, and I do believe, I know it's only a rumour, but I believe they're going to announce a Crash Bandicoot game at E3 in June. So um, you may get your wish, Bashi. It might not be a remaster. It might be a completely new game but it will still be Crash Bandicoot. So that was the winner of last week, GTA San Andreas. I thought that would be the winner as soon as I put it on the on that poll. Um, and I know they've released the game on PS4, but not a remaster, just literally the same game. Um, will they ever remaster it? I highly doubt it. But if, it, if they did, they would sell a freaking bunch. 
So next poll, so this week's poll, what I want to know is after, after the reveal that Call of Duty is going to go to space this year, I want to know which direction would you like to see COD take next? So don't worry about Infinite Warfare, it's already been decided that space. Next year, where do you want to see Sledgehammer Games take it? So bear in mind, Sledgehammer Games made um, yeah, what's it called? Advanced Warfare with all the exosuits and whatnot. So bear that in mind. So don't actually don't even worry about what they make, what they made, or what you think they're going to do. What you want to see. So the free choices. There's no other on this one. You've just got these free choices. Would you like them to go into the future again? Present, so more of a modern warfare kind of way. So. I don't know, they could do I don't some sort of modern war. Or would you like them to go back to the past? World War One, World War Two, one of those, or something even different in the past. What would you like to see them take next? I think I know what you guys are gonna vote for, and I think we're gonna have different opinions. But we'll talk about that next week once the poll has been decided. So yeah. Again, which direction would you like to see Call of Duty take next year? Future, present or past? And finally, we get to the bit which everyone loves. I start to, not promote, but I start to talk about a YouTuber slash streamer that I think deserves a little bit more recognition and is doing a really good job and definitely deserves a few more views. So this week, we have Boomer307. Boomer307 is a guy who actually helped me out. Um, I have to say that right now. I was streaming one day, streaming FIFA, and... I got raided by Boomer and his followers, and I got tons and tons of followers. For me, for other people it's not many, but I think I got, on that night I got 32 followers, of which I think about 20 were from him. So that was nuts, and I really appreciate that. And that's not the only reason I'm doing this, I'm not doing it just as a thank you. I've checked his streams out, and he is a really cool YouTuber, uh, streamer. He's got 3,961 followers right now, so he's doing a really good job already much better than myself but I still think he could do well he he deserves better um, he's a FIFA streamer so if you love FIFA if you like FIFA streams he does FIFA Ultimate Team mainly a lot of FIFA Ultimate Team drafts go and check him out I'm sure you'll really love it um, he also has a YouTube but I have them both down in the description so um, yeah definitely go and check Boomer307 out he's a really cool dude um, and I'm sure you'll love his stuff okay that's it for this week um, I really hope you've enjoyed it and I've enjoyed it. I've loved it. Um, so, next week I want to. I want this week. I want to see which direction you want to see Call of Duty take. And I want you to all go and check out Boomer three hundred and seven. I'd really appreciate that. His Twitch and YouTube will be down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Any any comments? Let me know. Um, if you want to see me add something to this series, do you want me to talk about something new, some other like thing I can talk about? I don't know. Let me know what you think. But thanks for watching, guys. As always, and I'll see you next week.